Andrew, this is a Sora Loose machine. Can you just tell us what the model is and how you would best describe the machine? Absolutely. It's a Sora Luthi model TA35 automatic traveling table bed type milling machine with automatic indexing head and a tool changer. Now, before we move closer to the machine, the, the size is a, is a big factor in the discussion here today, but just give us an idea of the longitudinal travel of this machine and the, the Y-axis and the X-axis and the Z. This particular machine is set up with a three and a half meter X-axis, a 1250 RAM and a 1200 millimeter Y-axis. It is, in effect, the largest machine in the TA range, as we do also offer these machines with slightly smaller capacities. And Soraluthi themselves manufacture machines considerably larger than this right through to let's say 12 15 20 meters in the x-axis those would be floor type machines with significantly more power and heavier duty capabilities okay let's go closer and take a bit of a more detailed look So I'd like to start really with, with the head on this machine and, and you telling us a little bit about the technology behind it and, and what it does and what it can achieve. Absolutely, this is the, what we call the heart of the machine, the milling head. Everything about the machine is about getting that head to a position accurately. The head itself is manufactured at Soraluthi's specialist head build and design facility. And this particular head on the machine is a 2.5 degree automatic indexing head with air oil lubrication you'd be looking at a head that can run at 4,000 RPM, transmit approximately 500 newton pieces of torque, and with 24 kilowatts of power. So this isn't a full five, it doesn't offer you full five axis simultaneous machine, and it's a three plus two? Not on this particular model, it's a two and a half degree indexing head. We can offer an upgraded head, which would give micron indexing, but again, this head is built for heavy duty, continuous cutting, but not continuous positioning. The interesting point here, I think, is an, an engineer may look at a drawing and he may say, okay, well, I've got an angled hole in this, I don't know, this, this component. Absolutely. How can, can this head get to that? Absolutely, we can. You've got to bear in mind that this is automatic indexing on two joints, an, orth, a, an orthogonal joint and an angular joint. The combination of the two and a half degree indexing gives you 144 positions times 144. So effectively, you've got 20,932 positions available so you can pretty much find any angle. If you want to do full five axis machining, we'd offer you another level of technology over and above this. So with, with bringing those factors into play of the kind of the two axes and the head moving, does that introduce the potential for inaccuracies in the positioning? Well, you've got to bear in mind this machine is built to a very high level of accuracy. You've got 10 to 14 micron repeatability on all the axes. The machine's laser calibrated, We've got hearth coupling indexing in the head. We can guarantee in normal operating conditions that this machine will give good quality, continuous, accurate components. So I suppose in answer to my question, there's, there's no compromise in what you can achieve as a result of the, the way that that head's put together. No, that head is put together very, very accurately for robust performance and longevity and reliability. Now let's t talk about the tool changer. We just saw a, a tool change motion happening. Is that a standard on this machine to have an ATC? Some customers are happy to purchase machines, particularly in the mold and die industry, without tool changers. That's a, co a common feature in that particular sector. But we would offer all our customers the option to either prepare the machine for a future edition of a tool changer, but more often than not, the machines are supplied now with 40 or 60 station tool changers. The bigger machines, can have significantly larger tool capacities. It would almost seem crazy to me to have a machine of this nature without a tool changer, but I suppose, I mean, is there a type of application where you wouldn't go for a tool changer? Possibly where you are running the uh, tools in very, very long uh, cycle times, where tool changes to a minimum, where it doesn't justify the 40 to 60,000 pound cost of a tool changer. Like I say, in the, in the mold and die sector, that is a common feature. And with this machine, this, this is a BT-50, I believe. It's actually a face and taper contact BT-50. Uh, the alternative to that would be an HSK-100. But this is the most common type of system used in this type of head, the BT-50 face and taper contact. Now, we spoke about the build of the head. Now, let, let's focus on the build of the machine. The x-axis moves, or the table moves for the x-axis. Right. You've got the z-axis up and down and the y-axis on, right. on the RAM. How does that, as a, as a build construction, you know, 
quality-wise, where, where does that sit? Everything is designed with finite element analysis. The machine itself is of cast iron construction. We're very, very accurately machined. It's running on linear guide technology throughout all Soroluthi machines, even the heavy duty machines, which are used in the nuclear sector in particular, are linear guide technology machines with added stability with hydrostatic damping on those linear guides, a patented design from Soroluthi. I, I read that online and I'm intrigued about that because in a, in a lot of instances we talk about machine tools having, a, having the cast construction, yes. having a box guideway construction yeah. and yeah. people focus then on how much better that is for vibration dampening than, than, than roller guideways but that's not the case here is it? If you set the machine up properly with hydrostatic damping incorporated with linear guide technology you're getting best, what we might call the best of both worlds. You've got the repeatability, you've got the dynamic performance that the linear guides offers, but you've also got the damping and the rigidity and the solid machining capability that traditional boxways or even hydrostatic systems, full hydrostatic systems on large machines would offer. So this is, there's no doubt about it. And Soroluthi have done a lot of studies in this regard that this technology using linear guides is definitely the way to go. And that's proven in two and a half thousand machines that are in the field working and have been doing so with this technology since 1989, 1990. And would you say your competition adopt the same sort of philosophy or use the same technology or do they air for the Different manufacturers have different views on, on these issues. Some, some manufacturers prefer to look at boxway technology. Other manufacturers purely on hydrostatics on large machines. It's really, it's down to the philosophy, the engineering expertise, and the way the company that has directed itself over many years uh, in the design and the manufacture of their machines. Linear guide technology is an absolute must for Soroluthi. It's the system that they use, and it's a system that is well proven in the industry. I think that's a big point. It's a case in point, really. It's proven in the industry, because some of your customers, give us an example of what some of your customers are doing on this machine, and then probably more importantly, what they'd say about the product. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, we have, we have many UK blue chip customers using Soroluthi technology. Uh, we have companies in the oil and gas sector, high technology companies in the uh, nuclear marine sectors. We have customers uh, in mold and dye. We have customers running the machines 24 hours a day in the yellow goods sector, machines which have been installed for over 10 years. So the machines have to be reliable. We have to offer quality service support coupled with uptime guarantees and guarantees of performance. Now with performance, you, you, need a, you need a good control, and you've recently introduced a 640 Heidenhain into, onto this machine, that's correct? That's right, effectively that's correct, yeah. There are three types of control systems that we could offer with the Soroluthi machine. The Heidenhain, which is probably the most common. Uh, Siemens 840D solution line, which is an, an exceptionally good control also. And for, for some customers, FANUC control. Possibly more so, more relevant to the US market than the UK market. In the UK, we offer this Haydn Hain 640 on this particular machine. It's a 19-inch screen. It's latest state, state of the art from Haydn Hain, and it is also capable of doing turning operations as well as milling and boring. Um, it has a hot, large 32-gig uh, gig processor inside. It's a really top-class control. It's a powerful system. Now, we also have on this machine, it, it, we've got a GSA fourth-axis rotary That's rotary right. table. Yeah. Would you sell a lot of these machines with with that adapt or? adaptation to it? Absolutely, particularly you'll notice this has got a 10 inch spindle bore as well. Absolutely ideal to uh, be supplied into the oil and gas sector. So many of, many of machines of this type have been into the oil and gas sector with rotary tables to integrate it. So that's a fully integrated axis and usually you'd hold a part between centres with a tailstock. And it's a removable item as well so it doesn't mean that the machine is dedicated just to long shaft work Again, what we're offering here is flexibility and just an idea, looking at this particular machine, of the type of solution you could put on it. You mentioned to me earlier as well about through spindle coolant and having very high pressure through spindle exactly. coolant. That's right. This particular machine has not just through spindle coolant, it has through coolant that goes all the way through the head of the machine, ported through the head, and will be able to deliver 40, even 60 bar of pressure with good flow rates. What does that advantage give to the user? The main advantage, particularly if you are doing a lot of uh, high-speed drilling, um, it gives you increased tool life, 
better swarf removal and general performance. What about scales on this machine? Have we touched on that? We haven't touched on that yet, but I can tell you that all Thoraluthi machines are supplied with Hayden Hain linear scales with high resolution. And then finally, I know it might not seem one of the most important points, but the look and feel of the machine, you, the access is good, which we'll see in, the, in a minute yeah. with the doors open. Yeah. You, you've paid attention to making the windows pretty sizable as well. That's right. What you're looking at here actually is the latest generation Soraluthi guarding design, which was introduced in 2016 with a new color scheme. The machine looks very, very up to date now. Uh, it's really quite exceptional uh, in the look. The, the operator uh, visibility is, is quite exceptional. The control system with the big screen is, is very up to date. I think the, the overall package, A, aesthetically, is very, very pleasing indeed. And if you had to make a few choice words to kind of conclude this interview, what, what would you say about this machine? What, what would be your, your pitch going into a, a first time kind of user of this type of technology? What we're offering here is, is robustness, performance, accuracy, and ultimately great value for money and available here to see in stock. We always have a Soraluthi machine in stock. Good stuff, thank you, Andrew. Okay, thank you.